The University of Denver has been around almost as long as the city of Denver. The school was founded in 1864, and during the nearly century and a half that has followed, DU traditions connect all of us from generation to generation. Our story begins in 1862, when President Abraham Lincoln appointed his friend John Evans governor to help settle the Colorado Territory. Evans, a devout Methodist, decided the territory needed an institution of higher learning. Thus, the Colorado Seminary was founded in 1864. In 1867, the school created its first athletic team, the DU Baseball Squad. The school struggled at first, but by 1880, it had a brand new name, the University of Denver. Soon after, school officials realized they needed room to grow. So in 1890, DU broke ground on University Hall, marking our present campus. As the turn of the century approached, the university's athletic program became more organized and sports became an integral part of the campus. And sports were certainly not limited to just men. Back then, the soon-to-be pioneers were known informally as the ministers or fighting parsons. In those days before radio and TV, a DU student named Dorothy Hickey penned Fairest of Colleges in 1916, the school fight song that's been going strong for the past 92 years. The Roaring Twenties were just that for the University of Denver. The school and the country were booming. DU went big and built a 30,000 seat football stadium on the hilltop. In 1925, DU students were unhappy with the Fighting Parsons and Minister's nicknames, so they held a contest to find a new nickname. They settled on Pioneers and produced the school's first official mascot, Pioneer Pete. The building boom on campus continued through the early 30s. Not even the Great Depression could slow down the university's growth. DU had another big growth spurt following World War II. Thousands of new students, many on the GI Bill, filled the campus. What followed was another golden age of pioneer spirit. Denver's athletic ambitions took another quantum leap in 1949, when the school purchased an old naval drill hall and renamed it DU Arena. It would become home to DU's signature sport until late into the 20th century. Before the 1960s came to an end, DU had already captured five national hockey titles and 12 national skiing championships. The 1960s were an era of big change, and DU decided that Pioneer Pete needed a makeover. Pioneer fans were soon introduced to a new creation, Denver Boone, in 1968. In the late 60s and early 70s, school spirit all over the country declined, replaced by civil unrest. Financial crisis followed in the 70s, forcing DU to demote most sports into lower divisions. That downturn continued right into the 80s, and by 1990, the whole university was fighting for its survival. Enter Chancellor Daniel Ritchie. Under his guidance, DU experienced a major renaissance. Millions of dollars poured in, new buildings went up, academic quality skyrocketed, and school pride began to return. In 1998-99, Denver restored all of its athletic teams to the Division I level as an important statement of excellence. At that time, DU also retired Denver Boone and replaced it with a red-tailed hawk. DU kept the nickname Pioneers as not only a nod to history, but because a pioneer can also be defined as more than a Western settler. In recent years, DU Athletics has de-emphasized the hawk in favor of the Arch Denver wordmark. The stature of the University of Denver's athletic program has grown hand in hand with that of the university as a whole. In 2008, DU was ranked as the 23rd best athletic program in the country by Sports Illustrated. And among all Division I schools without football, Denver is ranked number one. Everyone wants a DU brand image that we can be proud of, one that defines us as pioneers, now and in the future. <laughs>